Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Matt. This is Prime Analog Records. And I want to tell you about, um, I had a, a really good surprise last week. Um, I got a, I got an email that said that I still have tickets for Gino Vanelli. And I bought those in 2020. Um, and obviously he canceled because all live events were basically canceled and the six feet apart thing doesn't work very well for a concert uh, anyway so uh, I confirmed that I still had the tickets and uh, I got together a trip uh, pretty impromptu uh, down to South Florida and hung out with one of my buddies and um, got to see several people that I that I uh, I used to be down there I used to live down there for about 20 years on and off um, but anyway, had a great time, took Brody, uh, my dog, and, um, and my friend, um, his dog's name's Elvis. <laughs> so, um, it was really great. They, they were puppies together down there. They grew up together. So, um, anyway, they had a ball and my friend actually had a, uh, a closed circuit television camera over there so we could watch the dogs playing while we were out running around doing stuff. Um, anyway, so, um, it was an amazing concert. Um, he was as good as he's ever been. I've seen him four times now and, um, love, love the way he changes up arrangements and things like this. It's very, it's very, uh, um, it's very amazing how somebody who's so talented, I mean, this guy's a genius, um, and his stuff, you can find it and try it out and check it out. Uh, a lot of times it's in dollar bins. Um, people don't know about him. They know his hits. Um, but most people don't understand what an incredible fusion artist he is. And matter of fact, I remember years ago when I'd go looking for his, his uh, LPs, you never knew where you could find them because you could go into jazz, find them, uh, vocalist, pop, rock. I mean, nobody knew really how to... Uh, uh, for lack of a better term, pigeonhole him. So, um, and he's he's um, actually very proud of that. Um, you know, uh, the genius who saw a genius was per Herb Albert, and that's who signed him. But anyway, um, great concert. Um, probably ninety, probably ninety or a uh, um, hundred minutes. Um, of solid music, I'm gonna drop a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, um, videos in in this, so you can see what I saw somewhat. And uh, but for the length, for for uh, sake of making a video that's too long, like my last one. But anyway, here let me jump in here real quick before I get started on this. Um, I wanted to tell people because I want to get more. I want to get some more eyeballs on my uh, Jaco Pastorius. Um, he's very similar in you know the Gino Vanelli thing, where where he he's a genius too and undeniable Jaco Pastorius. And um, it's a long video and I put chapters within it. But to get more eyeballs on it, I'm I found this down at my one of my old hangouts down in Miami. Called uh, it's called Lucky Records. And, um, and I found the same one that I showed before. This is Jaco Pastorius and Pat Metheny's very first recording. And I could not believe that I found it in this store. And so I bought it and now I've got two copies and I don't want to, I don't want to hog copies. So what I want to do is whoever puts the most creative, uh, comment, um, Obviously, subscribe to me, and um, and give me a like, and and uh, put a a, a a what do you call it a creative uh, comment below, and um, whoever I deem I know it's kind of subjective, it's very subjective actually, but whoever I deem has the funniest or or best or most creative uh, comment, I'm gonna get together with them and send them this album. Um, and it's not cheap because there's very few of them around. Um, so it's, a and, and, a, but I want to, I want to spread the, the love, you know, I love this. I love this. Uh, I love this artist. Um, 
And um, and I think that Pat Metheny and Jocko on one album, the very first record, that's a pretty rare thing to add to your collection. Um, of course, I'll put it, I've already got it set up in a, in a vinyl storage solutions uh, dual pocket sleeve too. So I'm going to set it up good for you. And I'll, I'll take care of the shipping and all that kind of stuff. But all right, so... Um, let me get back to the Gina Vanelli thing.
Bono does this, and I think it's really incredible how he'll take these old songs that he's done, and he'll totally rearrange and uh, change the the tempo and change the arrangement to such a point that at the beginning, when it first starts, you're not even sure what it is. And I mean, I'm a giant Gino fan, but anyway, I think um, from what I what I heard, I think he played at least one song from every single album that he had in the past and i'm talking the record albums um also what i was going to tell you is that this is back in the heyday of of a and m and the in-house uh mastering genius in there was bernie grunman bernie grunman has mixed and uh, um he has uh mastered every single album i think Every single album that Gino did, including Nightwalker, which was on Arista. So he took him with him on, in different things, and he actually has worked on other albums of his. So I thought that was an interesting note. Um, um, as far as fusion, you guys know I love jazz fusion, and this is vocals on top of jazz fusion the way he is, but... You should you should listen to the musicality of this work, but anyway, so I I got him to sign my two. He he signed my uh, my two uh, uh, white label promos. There's one, and you can see his signature right there. No, right there. Okay, and then he also did my Gist of the Gemini, which he did Love Love Me Now. He did that song in concert. And that this uh, there's his signature. So while I was digging in Lucky Records and I was running around uh, trying to, uh, they've got an Asian restaurant in there too. So I I got my poke bowl and um, and another lunch special and um, and while I was di while I was doing that, they've got in the front of the house they've got this record store which is really fun and they've had a lot of they've got a lot of stuff and I picked this up, Cannonball Adderley. And it's a live album, Quintet. It's beautiful. Um, it's it's really fun. And actually, if you remember in my in my video with uh, um, 
Jaco Pastorius, I talked a lot about Joe Zalinal and stuff like that. Joe Zalinal's on this album. Um, he actually is his keyboardist in this. Um, and he, he gives him a shout out and talks about him and stuff like that in there too, which I thought was interesting. Also, I have this Spellbound. Um, uh, this is Joe Sample, and this is an amazing, amazing album. It's got Michael Franks on it. It's got, um, what is the other? Uh, it's an acapella group. What is that? Uh, I can't remember. I'll drop it in the comment when I, uh, or in, in the video. But my biggest find, biggest find, amazing, very rare to find, and I've been looking for it because I've, I'm a Bobby Caldwell fan, and uh, I'll probably do a video on him sometime soon. But um, but this is the only piece of vinyl that I am missing from my collection for uh, Bobby Caldwell, and it's this. And it's What You Won't Do For Love, and it's a heart-shaped red vinyl. And it's very, very rare, and it's sealed. This is a sealed copy which is incredible to find um, great hype sticker on it and, and all this kind of stuff. So um, I was flipping out when I found, when I found that. And uh, the reason why they're very rare is because cloud records down in Hialeah burned to the ground um, 30 years ago, maybe 40, you know, that's probably 40 years ago. And uh, you know, uh, fire and vinyl, don't play nice together. So anyway, that's my video. I hope you enjoy uh, looking at the concert drops that I've got on here. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. All my best.